Hey, Will here, Body Knowledge. Uh, just here to talk a little bit about the difference between RMR, which is commonly used in the same breath and uh, interchangeably with BMR. Uh, they stand for resting metabolic rate and basal metabolic rate. Now there is some key differences between the two. Um, you know, you do a quick search online and there's a lot of really good references that use them interchangeably as well. I want to clear that up. So basal metabolic rate, I refer to, and you've probably heard me say, I call them coma calories. Cause it's literally you go home and don't move for 24 hours, what your body requires to keep your heart beating, your lungs breathing, your brain functioning. Your brain's like 20% of that number, which is kind of cool, uh, but it's a greedy organ. And we need all these calories just to keep ourselves going, right? Our, the things we don't have to think about, you know, breathing in and out, our digestive tract, um, all those things need energy. So we need these calories. And it's also uh, to keep our lean mass because the basal metabolic rate that you got is based on the amount of lean mass you have. So the more lean mass you have, the higher the basal metabolic rate goes, um, which can be a gift and a curse, right? It's good to have a lot of lean mass, but then you gotta eat a lot to support it. Um, but the more lean mass you have, the higher that metabolic rate will go, that basal metabolic rate, uh, and in turn, your resting metabolic rate will go higher. The key difference between basal and resting is basal assumes no movement, like literally. You're just laying there. Resting is going to assume you get out of bed, you brush your teeth, even if you're living like a super sedentary lifestyle, that's what resting is, resting metabolic rate is giving you an estimate of, is how many calories you would burn if you just totally didn't exercise throughout the day, you didn't put yourself in any strenuous situations, you just basically got up, brushed your teeth, washed your hair, sat on the couch for a couple hours, uh, maybe walk to the store, maybe have a desk job where you don't move hardly at all. Um, and typically what we found and what I've seen is that basal metabolic rate is about two to 300 calories per day lower than your, your resting metabolic rate. So those are the key differences. Basal, absolutely no movement. And if you're watching this video, you're not in a coma. So you're uh, gonna burn two to 300 more calories even if you, are, even if you aren't uh, active you're sedentary, you just had a desk job, you burn two to 300 more than that basal metabolic rate that you got. So your body needs that energy. So make sure we're feeding our bodies. Uh, but any questions, reach out. Thank you for checking us out and uh, hope to see you soon.